Welcome back to Market Pros, and let's jump right into it. All right, so <clears throat> here we got Dogecoin on the daily on uh, Binance. So as you can see, Dogecoin had quite the rip, uh, you know, a while back in uh, uh, May of 2021. Um, and ever since then, it's pretty much been on a, you know, longer term downtrend in the last uh almost the last year uh 11 months actually uh and so we're gonna see if this is the first time that we have made a potential higher high in quite a while um i mean besides for this right here and potentially this right here but that didn't last long so okay so this is the third time it's tried to break its downtrend so we're going to find out whether this one might have some legs or not. Uh, so on the RSI, we are above the signal line, but we did break down out of the bullish control zone. With this little pump right here, we did get above it. Uh, but now we're back down below it. But we did bounce off that neutral median line. And it seems like now we're heading back up potentially to the bullish control zone on the MACD. We did come back down, kind of had a fake out, but it looks like we are just bouncing off of that signal line. Your positive momentum was decreasing, but now you're getting your first dark green bar once again. Um, let's see here. So your volatility is in the upper zone. You know, you were, you did consolidate right here and your volatility went down as your price action went down, which most of the time means that's a correction. Um, so yeah, th these were two days right here, very volatile days right there. Uh, let's go down to the four hour and zoom in a little bit. All your moving averages look, uh, let's go back to the daily. So your moving averages, your 21 did cross your 50. It looks like your 21 is trying to cross your 100. If the 50 can cross the 100 at the same time or, you know, slightly after it, that's going to be a really good sign. So far, you did get rejected from the 200 on the daily. All right, let's go down to the 4-hour. All right, so here on the 4-hour, 21 came back down, tested the 50. Uh, you are being held up by the 21 once you broke through it. Came back, you came up, came back down for a retest, resumption off. That looks good. RSI approaching the bullish control zone above the signal line. Um, let's see. So you did have bullish divergence here, but I mean that moves played out, I would say. Volatility's in the upper zone. MACD, fresh cross of the zero line. Positive momentum is increasing. Uh, signal line's even approaching the zero line right now. On the four hour, it looks good. Uh, so daily looks good. Four hour looks good. Let's zoom in down to the one hour kind of zoom in on this little correction here all right so i want to put a fib from because now we're going to find out upside potential upside targets so let's put this here all right uh my first target would be the 618 at 16 cents 0. 0.1606 to be exact um and yeah then we so RSI is in the bullish control zone. We did bounce off the bottom of the bullish control zone and the signal line. Good sign. Uh, we are above the zero line on the MACD. Good slope to the upside. Positive momentum is increasing. Volatility is in the upper zone as the price action is moving up. So as you had this consolidation, the volatility went down and then resumed back up. So another good sign. Uh, let's see here. No divergences to be aware of. All right, looking good. Uh, so I'd be, I'd be, me, I'd continue to be bullish if we did get above the 1606, uh, 0 0.1606, um, and get, get past the, uh, the bearish bull, uh, bear trap area. Um, sorry about that. My damn words mixed up there for a second. So, yeah, in order for me to be bullish, I would like to actually see us get back above 0.1634, this last breakdown point. But even if we do get past the 
5.618, I do think we would break that last high, and I think we would make a new high, especially if we get past the 786 at 0.166. So, yeah, I mean, short update on Doge. Just kind of wanted to look at it. A uh, few people have been requesting it. We are up 7.9% today, uh, currently at 0.1555. Um, and looks like we could be getting a minor rejection here. Okay, so if it does get rejected from here, because uh, that could be that could be uh, taken as a double top. If we do get rejected and we get, you know, back down below 0 0.1540, I would expect us to come back down to the 21 at 0 0.1505 and then come back to it. Um, not necessarily saying we're going to break down there because all your moving averages have positive slopes right now. And they're all crossing bullish. I am bullish on Dogecoin for sure. Um, basically, all the variables are looking good. That doesn't mean we can't have a pullback down to the 21, but I really don't think it would go farther than these other moving averages at the 0 0.236, at 0 0.1485. I don't think it's going to go lower than there. Um, so if it does get rejected here, you know, your first level would be the 382 at. 0.153 level I'd really be looking at would be the 0 0.1506 level where the 21 is. If it keeps going, it keeps going. You know, you need to get back above the 1618. Really need to get back above the 186. If you get back above the 786, then honestly, I think you'd come all the way up here to the 272 at 18 cents. All right, so now we're going to look at even more targets to the upside. Because honestly, if we got past this last high, the target I would be expecting the next pullback would be at 0.1926. So a little over 19 cents. I'd definitely be considering a pullback at 20 cents since it's a, you know, round number. So in between 19, 20 cents is where I'd be looking at. So those are my thoughts for Dogecoin. Uh, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe if you want. Uh, it helps support the channel. Um, leave a comment down below if you guys like the video. If you didn't like the video, leave a comment anyway. Tell me how I can improve. And uh, everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening. And I will see you in the next one.